Woo boy, that was quite the event, and we got everything that we wanted and even more, and also something that kicked the MacBook Pro up a notch. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I had to. All right, there was a lot of stuff announced at the event, and I'm going to do my best to recap the super interesting stuff as quickly as possible. If I miss something, I'm sorry. There's plenty of great articles over on MacRumors.com. Obviously, go check them out. They'll go far more in depth, and you'll get everything that you need to know from the event. This is just the top stuff that I can think of that we can get down quickly. And also, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss videos in the future about the products that were announced today. All right. Apple started off with some minor updates, like this very interesting new subscription tier for Apple Music called the Voice Plan, and it's priced at $4.99 a month. Now, this plan has been designed around the power of Siri and offers subscribers access to the service catalog of 90 million songs, so you can get any song that you need to listen to, but only through Siri hence the name. So this means that users on this tier can only access and play songs, playlists, and albums in Apple Music through their voice and devices like iPhone, iPad, AirPods, and HomePod Mini. So you'll be able to subscribe to the voice plan by saying, hey, start my Apple Music voice trial or by using the Apple Music app. The trial will last seven days. Then Apple updated the HomePod Mini kind of. They really just gave it some more colors like blue, yellow, and my personal favorite, orange. Then we finally got new AirPods, the third generation AirPods, and they look exactly like the AirPods Pro minus the tips, which, you know, that's the same thing that we've been saying for for the last year or so. There are some other notable features like improved sound quality, support for spatial audio, and adaptive EQ, which tunes the low and mid frequencies to account for what may be lost due to variances in fit according to Apple. Unlike the AirPods Pro and second generation AirPods, however, the third gen AirPods are sweat and water resistant, featuring a new contour design that's meant to fit a wide variety of ear sizes. You can order these right now for $179 and they should begin shipping to uh, customers starting next week. And there's also a new charging case that supports MagSafe, which seems convenient, I guess. Also, if you want a pair of AirPods Pro that also support MagSafe with the charging case, those have been updated and added and are available as of today. Moving on to the Unleash part of the show, and it's the next generation of Apple Silicon called the M1, the M1 Pro and M1 Max. Yes, a stunning turn of events in the name and now more confusing, but hopefully I'll be able to clear it up for you. The M1 Pro is very fast in comparison to last year's M1, and the M1 Max is even faster than that. There are lots of statistics and numbers tossed around, cores, GPU, whatever, but I'm not gonna go into that much detail on that right now, because the real star of the show here is the first machine to hold these new chips, which are the new redesigned 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros. This new MacBook Pro is completely redesigned, kind of, and pretty close to all the leaks and rumors that were mentioned over the last year or so, or however long it's been, it feels like eternity. But there are a few added surprises. The MacBook Pro features a new design and it is available with a 14.2 inch display and 16.2 inch display. There are now more ports available with the right side of the machine offering an HDMI port, a Thunderbolt 4 port, and an SD card reader. The left side of the machine features a MagSafe 3 port, two more Thunderbolt 4 ports, and a headphone jack. The keyboard now has a full height of function row key, so no more touch bar, and the entire keyboard area is now black. Now, for the surprises, well, kind of surprises, over the weekend, some more leaks popped up about the inclusion of a notch, or maybe late Friday, and everything just kind of took off from here. And welp, would you look at that? There are notches on these new MacBook Pros. Of course, I'm sure people have lots to say about these in the comments and I cannot wait to read them all, but this new MacBook Pro features significantly reduced display borders with a notch out of the top of the display for the new webcam. The new webcam is finally 1080p resolution with a wider aperture and a larger image sensor. There is also a mini LED display or what Apple calls its liquid retina XDR display, but the surprise for that display is not the mini LED, we kind of expected that, but there's now ProMotion technology in the MacBook Pro, which I honestly said was not gonna happen and I'm wrong. Support for 120 Hertz with Apple's technology behind it that allows your machine to adapt to what you're doing and adjust the refresh rate accordingly, just like what we see on the new iPhone 13 lineup, or at least the iPhone 13 Pros. 
The MacBook Pro now features magnetic charging with MagSafe 3, which offers fast charging for up to 50% charge in 30 minutes. When playing back video, the 14.2 inch model offers up to 17 hours of battery life, while the 16.2 inch model can deliver up to 21 hours of video playback. Both MacBook Pro models come with configuration options that include the new M1 Pro and the new M1 Max chips. And you can get them, again, no matter what size you're getting with the Max chip, you just have to go in and custom config. Now, you can get this up to 64 gigs of RAM, again, depending on which configuration option you choose. The M1 Pro chip features a 10-core CPU, 16-core GPU, a more capable media engine, more Thunderbolt controllers, and support for up to 32 gigs of RAM. And there's a lot more to it. Then the M1 Max chip features the same 10 core CPU as the M1 Pro, but includes a 32 core GPU with support for up to 64 gigs of RAM. These computers are available to purchase right now, and they start shipping next week with the 14 inch model starting at $19.99, while the 16 inch starts at $24.99, and the lower entry level model is now the 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro from last year. Of course, I'd love to know your thoughts about everything that was just announced today. I honestly didn't think the rumor about the notch was really gonna happen. Even though a lot of reputable sources started to pick this up and it was going to gain a lot of steam, it just, it just didn't seem like it was going to happen and then it happened. So I'm shocked. I'm shocked that promotion actually happened. I didn't think that was gonna get added either, maybe next you know, year down the line or something. But yeah, these MacBook Pros, in my opinion, look incredible. I cannot wait to get my hands on one. We will have one coming next week. So please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that video. And let us know down in the comments what videos you wanna see around those new MacBooks so we can tailor our content to see, you know, around what you guys want to see. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.